All right, guys, something weird is happening in Starfield. Have you ever come across one of these before? These are random, unexplained anomalies that have been showing up in people's games. So if you've seen one of these, you are definitely in the minority. This footage here was recorded by Reddit user Quick Mel, who posted it into the Starfield subreddit, along with the following caption. Anybody know what this is? And you know what? Nobody does. Nobody has any clue. But but there are definitely theories, so let's run through the most plausible theories, as well as the most insane ones. So the most interesting theory for me is that this is a teaser for the upcoming Shattered Space DLC. Like uh, this could be sort of a subspace tear that you have to travel through in the DLC in order to access different regions of space. In other words, maybe it's a sort of portal. Another Reddit user by the name I am HST says, I think this is going to be used for the new DLC. These things will be found in specific spots and will allow you to move into other timelines aka shattered space another user writes that it would be kind of awesome if it was a teaser for the dlc and it became something bigger in later updates that bethesda dropped to hype up the dlc if it is a teaser however it's kind of weird how it's only showing up for a handful of people this is a super rare anomaly as well as the original poster who's come across this another user by the name restless fingers says quote i had this happen to me once it was under my Starborn Guardian ship, maybe 30 meters away during my first New Game Plus. Granted, the ship had a little hull damage, so I thought it was related. Haven't seen it again since, end quote. So that's two people it's happened to, which shows it's not an isolated incident, but also that's just not enough people to suggest it's an actual, you know, a marketing strategy that Bethesda is using to announce the next DLC. If we are talking about really good examples of marketing strategies to announce, DLC, Helldivers 2 is a great one to look at. They love to slowly drip feed info about what's coming next rather than officially announce new content in advance like most people do. Sometimes this really is just an obscure tease ahead of an update or DLC. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. So for instance, some people have recently reported seeing blue lasers in the game, which could be a tease for a new enemy race that people have suggested might be the Illuminates or the Illuminates. However you pronounce it, these are the psychic aliens that were one of the enemy factions in the first Helldivers. That is the presiding theory, or, you know, maybe this could just signify a new kind of gun is coming, a laser gun that shoots blue lasers. Another cool thing that the Helldivers devs did is this tweet, which they tweeted out on the 23rd of March. And this one teased the arrival of a new brand of flying enemies. The tweet said, quote, in a shocking turn of events, sightings of flying bugs have been reported from the front lines. According to the Ministry of Truth, and no previous sightings have ever been recorded in history, end quote. And that tweet nicely sets up the new race of flying enemies. It's just a really novel, really kind of different way that Helldivers is advertising what's coming next. So that's how some games roll out their updates, but what's happening with Starfield? Is this what's happening? I'm not so sure. And I'll tell you why. Shattered Space is the first major piece of DLC for this game, and it was even advertised before the game even came out six months ago. With that said, you would have thought Bethesda would want to put it in front of more people and bring their marketing to the broadest audience possible. Like, you know, they're not an indie dev, they don't need to do guerrilla marketing, they have the budget for a huge marketing campaign, rather than drip feeding it out to like two people who post about it on the Starfield subreddit. They could literally put a billboard in Times Square for the next DLC. But what could work is if this was a starting point point. So Bethesda puts it in front of one or two people, then they release it to a few more, and this subspace tear in space, this sort of anomaly type thing, is something that loads of players start discovering. Until every player who plays Starfield is seeing these and wondering what the hell is going on. Of course though, let's not discount the fact it could just be a glitch. Some people on Reddit have also said it looks like one of the Starborn powers, 
or what happens when you take down a starborn and they leave behind particles that look something like this. Usually it fades away, but for some reason, maybe it glitched out and got stuck. Another said on the Reddit, it looks like a texture from one of the summoning powers. So maybe the texture of one of these powers also just got stuck and that is what we are seeing. Me personally, I did try and replicate this using one of my powers, but it didn't happen. It didn't really resemble the original texture posted. There are other explanations though. One subreddit user says it looks kind of like the portal from the quest Entangled. And another one says it resembles part of the cutscene after you start New Game Plus. So maybe these textures escaped and got mistakenly loaded into the game in a big old glitch. Whether this is a bug or a feature though, we don't know yet, but I think we will, will, we will know very, very soon. And we will know if this starts happening to more people. So if you start seeing this in your game, definitely let me know in the comments. But where should you start looking? Because it is a big game after all. Well, where you can look for it is where the original poster says. They write that this is the third time they've seen it twice on planets with a temple while they were actively doing temples and also just outside the ship as you see in the video and the other time they saw it is in space so it's not just on planets the ship in question as we can see is a starborn ship and this is the ship you get after completing the game so you may have more chance of seeing this on new game plus the poster also says that they've tried using powers on it like star sense and elemental pool and nothing changes this can't be interacted with in any way. They also used the scanner on it, which didn't really register, nothing came up, but there is something the poster didn't try, and that's because they weren't playing on PC. If they were playing on PC rather than Xbox, they could bring up the console and get the ID of this thing. To do that, you would press the tilde key, then click on this weird subspace tear, and the ID would appear at the bottom of the screen. So for instance, if you do this with other items in the game, this ID appears. Each item Item has its own unique ID. If the subspace tear is an actual physical object, we will get an ID. If on the other hand, it's a glitch and it's not meant to be there, we won't, it's that simple. And this I think is the only way we're gonna find out whether this thing is real or not. So if it shows up for you and you're playing on PC, open up the console and click on it. And if a string of white numbers and letters appear, it is a physical texture or an object spawned in by the developers. If not, it's a glitch. So that is the weird subspace tear in Starfield, a doorway to a new galaxy or just a weird visual. You can decide for yourself. Personally, I think it's probably most likely to be a glitch because, well, it wouldn't be the first glitch in Starfield. And if it's not a glitch, that means it's intentional. And I really can't think of a reason why Bethesda would choose to have it in the game, but only show it to like two people. So yeah, as interesting as it is, I think this is just a super rare glitch. But as I say, I would really recommend you go and search for this yourself. The more people we've got searching for this thing, the better. And when you do find it, bring up the concept so if you're playing on PC and let's try and get an ID on this thing. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this latest Starfield video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and for more Starfield videos, subscribe to the channel.